Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.6. We're taking a break from iOS 16 beta, move on to iOS 15 back again, but this one is actually really, really important. iOS 15.6 is a really important update, especially for iPhone users with older devices. So in this video, I will show you guys everything important that you need to know regarding this update. Now, another important thing that you need to know regarding my channel is that if you subscribe to the channel, that will be really helpful as most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. And of course, that little like button, just press it, it helps out a lot. Moving on to iOS 15.6, first of all, let's take a look at what's new with this update. Even though it's a 0.6 update, it's actually not that big when it comes to new features and changes. Most of the changes are under the hood and of course, Apple did most of the work on fixing bugs and of course improving iOS 15 again with this really important update which will most likely mark the end of iOS 15. So first of all the size of the update it's at around 5 gigs right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Of course this will be different on different devices and it will be different based on which current software you have on your device. Now if you have iOS 15.5 this update will most likely be way way smaller. So what's new with this update? First of all on the wallet app with iOS 15.5 if you want to try to add a license a driver's license now you can also add Maryland. It used to be only Arizona with iOS 15.6. Apple has added Maryland as well. So of course you can go ahead and enter your driver's license or state ID for Maryland as well. Another very welcome change on iOS 15.6. When you go to your settings and go to podcasts right here, you will have automatic downloads and now you will have a lot more options that will basically limit the amount of episodes that can be downloaded on your device. This is really, really helpful as having a ton of episodes downloaded to your device will actually take a lot of storage on your iPhone. So what you have here is of course the option to turn it off completely or you can just choose the latest episodes per show. So all the shows you're subscribed to, if you choose this, only the latest episodes will be downloaded locally into your device. Or you can choose by time. So the last 24 hours, last week, last two weeks, last month, or all episodes, even though I don't really recommend you doing that because that will take a ton of storage on your device. And of course, podcasts being so long, they are really big on size and will eat up the storage of your iPhone really, really quick. Now, another change on the Shortcuts app with iOS 15.6. Now, this is actually a feature that Apple has added that now will just show you a pop-up to allow permissions to load web content. Now, this is not an action that you can add to a shortcut, but if a shortcut requires to load web content from Safari, now you will actually get a pop-up from where you can, of course, allow it or don't allow it iOS 15.6 will also fix a bug which was really annoying with the Apple Music app. So if you ever deleted the Apple Music app from your device and reinstalled it on your device, it would just move to the dock, would remove one of your apps and move automatically to the dock. Now Apple has actually fixed that with iOS 15.6 and it's no longer an issue. You reinstall the music app, of course it will just show on the home screen. Moving on to performance and battery life. Of course, you would expect great performance with a 0.6 update and the fact that Apple has done most of the work on this update underneath the hood, fixing bugs and of course improving iOS. Actually, the performance is quite good. It's very, very solid. I had this update on my iPhone 12 Pro Max here for a few days, of course, the performance was quite good and I even tested it out right here on the iPhone 7 even though it's of course one of the oldest devices to support iOS 15 the performance is again really really good and something we can expect from a 0.6 update so here we have a Geekbench score for iOS 15.6 so the single core score right there is 1588 now comparing this right here to iOS 15.5 you can see 1585 so just a very very slight increase right there on the single core score so if you have iOS 15.5 right now on your device you can actually expect the same performance 
maybe a bit smoother on iOS 15.6, especially on the older devices, but it's quite similar to iOS 15.5. And we have a multi-core score here, 4092 on iOS 15.5, on iOS 15.6, we have here 4087. So these scores basically are exactly the same. So that's what you can expect. Basically the same performance on iOS 15.6 as the same you got on iOS 15.5. Now the same goes for battery life as well. If you have iOS 15.5 currently on your device, don't expect any major changes, even negative or positive, none of them will actually happen. You can expect pretty much the same performance on battery life as well, the same that you got on iOS 15.5. So it's actually quite good in my experience here using it for a few days on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it was quite good. I cannot say anything about the iPhone 7 because the battery there is actually quite damaged. Now, when it comes to battery health, just notice that this might drop if you update your device. So this is happens because iOS will recalibrate. Basically the battery will calculate everything again when you update your device and it will show you a different percentage right here. So it's nothing bad. So in this case, my iPhone says it's a 90% health. It's probably even lower. So when I update my device, it will show the real percentage. I seen this because a lot of people actually don't want to update their device because they think updating itself will make the battery health drop. It doesn't. The battery health has already dropped. It's just not showing here. So when you update, if it shows a way lower number, like maybe in this case, I can get 88%. So just don't panic. Don't think that the update alone is doing that. That's actually the real health percentage that you have on your device. And now let's quickly talk about these guys right here. Some of the older devices that will of course support iOS 15 for now. These of course the iPhone 7, the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, the iPhone 7 Plus and the original iPhone SE. This will most likely be the last big update for these devices and I don't expect Apple to release any more new features for these devices. So iOS 15.6 will basically mark the end of iOS 15. Of course, in the future, you can expect Apple to release like some smaller updates in the next few months. Of course, iOS 15.6.1.2 and so on with security fixes and improvements and all that. But this in feature wise, I believe this is the last update that you will get, even though with this update, we didn't get any like big new features, but this is the last one that you will get if you have one of these devices that are unfortunately not supported by iOS 16, especially the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus, which I think are great devices. So another thing you need to know regarding the iOS 15.6 update is of course the release date. Currently, as of today, this is on beta 5, which is the last beta that we will get on iOS 15.6. And most likely today or tomorrow, we will get the RC version. And then next week, Apple will most likely release this to the public. I believe that will be Monday or Tuesday. So July 18th or 19th. These are the two dates that I believe iOS 15.6 can get released to the public. So what's next for iOS 15 users? Again, this has been quite a good update. iOS 15 has brought a lot of new features to iOS, even though some big new features we expected didn't come, but it has ended right here with iOS 15.6. Now on, all I expect Apple to release is like minor updates with security and bug fixes and of course security improvements. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is everything you need to know regarding the iOS 15.6 update. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And of course, leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.